Baby is sleeping in the room next door, but I couldn't finish the vlog without showing you guys the nursery progress. So happy. I hear my baby. Found it. It was right in front of me. Good morning friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin, I run the blog called Mrs. Midwest. And today we are doing a different kind of vlog from what I've done recently. I've done so many day in my life. I've done a ton of pregnancy, motherhood related videos this year. So I thought it would be really fun to bring you guys along on a different kind of day, a pampering day, a beauty focused day with a little bit of shopping. So what inspired this video is the fact that I'm getting my first haircut, professional haircut in almost four years. It's yeah, it's been over four years. and But you know I've been cutting my hair. I cut my own bangs two years ago. You saw how I trimmed my hair in my summer vlog this past summer. But I decided recently I just want my hair reshaped. The ends are pretty blunt at this point. This is just kind of like, I don't even know what's going on. You can see I've tried to kind of shape it around my face, but we need some professional help. And so I am going in today and I am requesting that my <laughs> hairdresser reshapes like the front of my hair you can see it just needs desperate help and also gives me more of like a U layered cut at the back so I thought you know mom's day out <laughs> I will bring the girls along we have not done this before so come get pampered with me today but first we are going to start out with just a chatty get ready with me um that's why I don't have makeup <laughs> baby just went down to sleep for a nap my husband is home all day ready to take him and my husband has been so supportive he has just been like telling me to get out of the house telling me to do what I need to do when I told him you know I think I want a haircut he was like book one like do what you got to do I'm more the one who stands in my own way when it comes to like getting out of the house or taking time away from mom duties because honestly I just I prefer to be the one around my baby I prefer to be the one taking care of him and when I'm out doing stuff I miss him <laughs> I had a doctor's appointment yesterday and I missed my baby I wanted to be home with my baby it's kind of funny because I expected that I would be one of those people that just you know loved their baby but also appreciated time away and regularly wanted time away but I'm not like that. <laughs> so today's a big deal. It's my first kind of pampering day in a long time. Again, it's not that I haven't had opportunities. It's just that it was kind of my own choice to stay home. But today we're getting out and I'm even going to stop at a TJ Maxx to kind of look for some sweaters and things to wear over this growing bump. <sighs> I've definitely, gotten curvier <clears throat> um, as a result of this pregnancy. Like I feel like my hips are just packing on the pounds, my chest is packing on the pounds, and I just don't feel that great in a lot of my clothes. I've been wearing a lot of baggy clothes, and so today I'm gonna see if I can get some, you know, baggier sweaters, things that I can feel kind of cute in, you know, because I'm gonna be still gaining weight for the next few months, and I don't wanna feel gross for the rest of the time. And I know postpartum is the fourth trimester. I'm well acquainted with what that's like. I'm gonna want some looser, but still feminine sweaters for that. So that is the goal today. We are having a suburban mom's day out. Haircut in the chic little boutique town, 30 minutes away from here. TJ Maxx, <laughs> hubby as the baby, like, it is not your glamorous, chic, like LA or Paris, New York kind of day out, but moms, moms, I gotta get out too. So yes, I just also wanted to chat, let you know how things are going. I had a doctor's appointment yesterday and my doctor is the place where we gave birth to Bodhi. It's a wonderful OBGYN. We chose it because they're very holistic. They have a low C-section rate. They have, a, I love all their doctors and 
it's in a quieter town the town that's closest to us is a little bit more like dangerous <laughs> um and my husband he works in that city a lot and so we just know a lot about the crime and he's constantly like taking people to the emergency room there and it's just kind of messy and so when we thought of like giving birth and being at peace you know my husband he didn't want to be in that hospital especially he didn't really want me and his future children in that hospital either not because they're not adequate it's just because he really associates it with things like gun violence and horrible domestic situations so we picked a hospital out in the country it's really great i've had good experiences i never told you guys my birth story um for personal reasons but it had a lot of ups and downs and essentially what happened yesterday is i went to my appointment and i was excited because i love my doctor and i was gonna ask her some questions that have been on my mind lately about my pregnancy um and when i got there <laughs> i drove almost 40 minutes and when I got there, they told me that she had been called away for some reason or was off for some reason and would I be okay seeing so-and-so. And they didn't tell me who so-and-so, like her title. And so at first I thought, okay, it must be a doctor. Sure. And I kind of reluctantly agreed. I'd, I would have preferred to reschedule and see my doctor, but I reluctantly agreed and I went back with them, got weighed. And then I sit down in the room and then the nurse is like, okay, so because you're not seeing doctor, like your regular doctor, today you'll be seeing so-and-so, our nurse midwife. And I just like froze up. Not because I can't stand midwives. I saw a midwife after my subchorionic hematoma at that practice. It's not that. It's the fact that it was this specific person. And I didn't recognize that it was this specific person until I heard nurse midwife after her name. And I realized, oh no, like I can't do this. And I froze up because this specific person is actually someone who caused a lot of problems, bad decisions, and essentially birth trauma for me last time around with Bodhi. Um, I, again, haven't told you the whole story, but I was in labor for a really long time, a few days. I was pushing for a really long time. And this person and her decisions really extended a lot of my suffering and pain and my doctor even admitted that she was the that this person was the reason why and it was just like really traumatizing i just associate her with such a vulnerable time such a painful time and i honestly almost didn't go back to my practice even though i love my practice so much because i was traumatized by what happened and so yesterday when they're like okay yeah you're gonna have your appointment with so and so the nurse midwife and i just like it was like i got shot back to oh just that horrible day and obviously like i had a mask on so she couldn't like see my full face but i started tearing up and i was like i can't i can't do this i can't see her um and i didn't know like how much to explain to this like little nurse like she was just checking me in for my appointment so i was basically like i had a really negative experience with this person last time i gave birth i can't see her for this appointment i'm sorry and this nurse was also a lot younger so i think she kind of was just like oh like she didn't really know how to handle it and so i was like okay i guess i'll just come another day i'll call back to the office and reschedule and i started to get up to leave and she was no no i'll schedule you in so she penciled me in with another person but i, but I could tell she was super confused and felt really uncomfortable and honestly, in the past, I might have just suffered a little bit and like gone through the appointment. It's not like she was gonna come, this nurse midwife was like gonna come harm me or anything, but just the mental and emotional trauma of that situation and having to see that person, not just see that person, but have that person provide care for me again I just couldn't handle it and I'm really happy that I left the appointment I it was kind of a waste <laughs> to drive out there um, but typically they warn you ahead of time and they had kind of dropped the ball with that so if I wasn't able to see my doctor typically they would call you the day before and tell you who you were gonna be seeing um, but they didn't do that so it was kind of like people's you know it was kind of an accident on everybody's part 
but I'm just happy that I did what I needed to do. That's definitely something I've done differently with this pregnancy. It's that confidence that comes with being a second time mom, I think, but I just, I'm not gonna put myself in situations that cause unneeded stress, especially because I'm pregnant. I just, I, I can't do that, you know? And I know because you guys don't have the full story, you don't have the context, it might sound a little extreme that I couldn't see this person for an appointment, but if you've ever given birth and you've ever had a bad experience with a medical provider, be it a nurse, a doctor, a midwife, anybody, the idea of that person providing you care again, it sets off like a fight or flight <laughs> response um, in you. And it's just, it's not something you have to go through. So I wasn't going to share the story because I didn't want you guys to judge me or think I was weak or rude or whatever. But then I thought, no, there's so many pregnant women in my community. There's so many first time moms. There's so many people who might be in a situation like that at some point. And I just want you to know we can be sweet. We can be feminine. We can be kind and we can still say no. No is a full sentence. And you don't have to go through with something, especially as it pertains to your medical care and your body, just to not rock the boat. You know, that nurse, I think she was uncomfortable. I think she was confused. I think I made her shift a little awkward, but it was to protect myself, my mental space, my emotions. And I think I did the right thing. And so I just, again, encourage you guys, be it haircuts, medical advice, you don't need to see people who have hurt you. Hubby's home. He wasn't falling asleep, so he only fell asleep at like 9.15. Oh, okay. Hi, Kiki. Yeah, I'm gonna take care of <laughs> No, it's okay. <laughs> Makeup makes a world of difference, folks. In other news though, you know how I talked about beef liver supplements in my pregnancy cute video? Well, I ran out of beef liver supplements last week or two weeks ago. And so I made another order with Amazon. I should have done it sooner, it was my fault, but I made another order. I was waiting on them for a few days. I thought, yeah, I can make it like five days without them. But then the order got lost in the mail or something. So I, they just canceled it and i made an order with a different company to get them sent and in the meantime when i wasn't taking those supplements all of a sudden my sleep was horrible every time i woke up in the night i could not fall back asleep it was horrible pregnancy insomnia like one night i woke up at 12 30 when my husband came home from work and i didn't fall asleep again until like 5 a.m it was Awful. And then, you know, I have to wake up at 6.30 in the morning and take care of Bodhi. So it was just really awful. And I didn't associate it with not taking supplements. I just thought, okay, I'm in this weird stage of pregnancy now where I'm going to be suffering. And what ended up also happening is I started getting bruises and I've always bruised kind of easily in my life, but all of a sudden I got this like giant bruise this big, maybe even bigger than that on my calf and it was dark purple and it just was not healing. It was like a week and I started getting tiny bruises up by my hips, so crazy. And so I was just kind of miserable. I even posted on Instagram, like I am miserable, I am suffering. I don't know what's going on, pregnancy is so hard. And then um, I just decided one day, this is silly, just go to the health food store, cancel all these online orders I was waiting for, and go get beef liver supplements because that was the only thing that changed in my diet or lifestyle between sleeping great and not bruising and then bruising a ton and sleeping terribly. So I got some supplements again, and within two days, all of the bruises, even the dark one, like the really dark, nasty, huge one, were healed. <laughs> And that night and every night since, I have had such a good sleep drive. I will still wake up to pee in the middle of the night a bunch of times, but I always fall back asleep. So I just have to share that with you guys. If you're looking for a supplement that I truly believe makes a huge difference, beef liver supplements are amazing. All right, this is pretty much the makeup. Sometimes I take the eyeshadow. 
can I contour a little? Contour. Contour. I already know when I'm looking in that hairdresser's like mirror with my hair slicked back and that black poncho, I'm just gonna feel like a slug. Like so ugly. Does anyone feel like that when you're at the hairdresser? <laughs> I probably should have used bronzer. But... Cool. But this is kind of the hair situation. I've been braiding it at night to offer more safety for it, I guess you could say. That's not really the right word. Protection, like a protective style so it doesn't break as much because I, I know that's my problem. It's not that I can't grow my hair super long, it's that it breaks off because I'm kind of rough on it. So yeah, what I'm hoping to do, see this? I'm hoping to get this dealt with, just shaped, and then the ends are super blunt. So I'm hoping to get that reshaped as well. And I feel like for the first time, my, I'll be going to get a hair, first time in a long time, I'll be going to get a haircut and instead of her having to like fix the mess that is my hair, she'll have a really nice blank canvas to work with. So and we are gonna do more of a middle part. Cause my part's naturally like right here. So I want her to like, I did this. <laughs> I did this to myself. I want her to deal with this. So this is what we got. here but I am so confused I do not see the salon name anywhere I don't see I don't see like I don't see any like name of anything on buildings and so I don't know like it's a safe part of town this is a really nice town but we are struggling like my Google Maps is not helpful. My Apple Maps is not helpful. So I'm gonna have to ask somebody in person, I think, and that kind of sucks. <laughs> but yeah, so I have two minutes to get there and I'm probably gonna have to DM her and tell her I am late if I can't figure this out. So <laughs> hopefully we find it. Okay, so I went in. It was the wrong salon, but a girl there knew where I was trying to go and it's not my fault because apparently there's like a million salons around here. So we're headed to the appointment. I found it. <laughs> it was right in front of me. <sighs> yeah. Okay, I found it.
feel like a new cut was totally done. So the hair feels amazing. It is so much lighter. I'm sure for you guys, you'll be like, there's not even a change. But for me, this feels amazing. So we are headed to shop, which is kind of exciting. I've been getting updates about the baby the whole time, <laughs> which was a must. And oh, I'm just feeling so good. A really great haircut can just leave you feeling so much better. And I didn't have like dead hair to get rid of. I didn't have like damaged hair to get rid of. I didn't need a color, but even I needed shaping, you know? So this is your PSA, maybe get a haircut. so happy <laughs> I could cry I have not done a shopping trip like that I I don't know when the last time is <laughs> I've mostly just shop online in the last few years and I've done a ton of thrifting but it just felt so good to just go and get some really soft luxurious nice sweaters and items to wear <laughs> because we are headed into the cold season and I just really didn't have anything to wear over this bump and I'm 30 weeks I have 10 ish weeks left to go and so that's a lot of weeks and when you're postpartum you don't want to wear skin tight clothing either so I wore my maternity clothes for about three months after I gave birth to Bodhi and I know I'm gonna do that again so I feel really good I feel like I just got my clothes for the fall and the winter and yes I will be outfit repeating a lot but the beauty of being a homemaker is that no one knows what you wear like it's a little harder for me because if I post on Instagram you guys know what I'm wearing <laughs> but on a regular day no one knows what little old housewife is wearing so I'm really excited I did go for more looser stuff I'm not feeling 100% confident in the body I have a lot of extra junk in the trunk and I'm not used to it and so anyone who might be feeling like 
you're not at the top of your glow up game, my heart goes out to you because I am currently there. You know, I did not feel knocked out after my first pregnancy. I felt like I bounced back pretty good. I lost the weight immediately. Um, my skin felt great. Everything felt great. But pregnancy number two in such a short period of time is definitely taking it out of me. I've gained more weight than I wanted. Um, but baby's happy. Mom is healthy. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal to gain a lot of weight in pregnancy. You can always lose it. And it's really about what's best for baby. And so, yeah, if you're not feeling at the top of your game when it comes to glowing up and beauty and looking polished, just know I relate with you and I've made videos on those topics, you know, but we go through seasons of life where it's not always possible to look our absolute splendid best we've ever looked in our entire lives. And that's okay. And there's things we can do like buy a couple new sweaters to make yourself feel good. Get a haircut, you know, focus on your hair and makeup. Maybe put some accessories on. There's a lot you can do for your outer femininity and your outer chic look and looking polished. That has nothing to do with whether or not you're in the best shape of your life or the best beauty stage of your life. We're all gonna age. I'm gonna get so wrinkly someday and be saggy and an old lady and I'm still gonna buy a nice sweater for winter and wear cute colors and do my makeup because femininity isn't about looking like a supermodel. It's about looking and looking healthy and looking your best for whatever stage of life you are in at the current moment. So we have one more errand to run and then we're gonna go home to my sweet baby boy who I miss so much and baby boy squishy time. All right, hello, we are back home. We have like 15 minutes before my son wakes up from his nap. So I thought I would show you what I did end up getting from the Max of TJ. I mean, I am such a slow shopper, especially like because I'm pregnant, I just like slowly walk through the store and I have decision fatigue and I like don't know what I'm doing. And so, oh my goodness, I, I, I could have used like, a girlfriend or somebody to like help me <laughs> make decisions when I was at the store it took a while but we've only really missed a couple hours with Bodhi because he's been napping most of the time I've been gone so that's exciting also haircut look at that it's like perfectly even I'm so pleased and she really did not take length off she just added layers I left there being like see you in the spring I'm definitely coming back <laughs> so let me know what you think for my straight hair girlies. Something to remember with hairdressers is a lot of them will like curl your hair after um, your haircut or your color and it looks really nice, but curling can sometimes disguise flaws in a haircut. And so if you really wanna know like how they cut your hair, have them keep it straight because then you'll really see. And so, yeah, I don't know. It just seems like there's more movement. Next time I might ask for a little bit more layers in the back, but I want it to be super conservative this time. So haircut was a success. Um, clothes shopping was a little tough, but we got this sweater. I think you could probably tell I was gonna get this one. This is just a really nice color on me. I think it's in my color season. Yes. If you haven't taken the color season test, that's another thing I would totally recommend if you're looking to buy clothes that are just way more flattering. So I got this one. It's a little bit shorter, so soft, very affordable. And I did get this ski sweater. Now my husband and I, we ski. That's like our thing. I have not skied. <laughs> this will be my second year not skiing because pregnancy. But this is so cute and it fits over the bump and I think like I'm gonna wear it afterwards and it's really soft and again I used to not wear a lot of gray because it shows sweat stains and I used to sweat like a lot um but <laughs> I think it's like a nice color on me so super cute I did get these joggers now for my thick leg girls I have thick legs thick calves thick thighs thick ankles thick knees 
it is what it is and so sometimes I've noticed like a looser pant or a jogger can be more flattering and actually make your legs look thinner than if you were to wear a legging or a skin tight pant because a legging shows like the whole leg which okay but when you're wearing a jogger or something there's like a little bit of mystery of like where's the leg it's in the fabric we don't know and that's why i love wide leg pants because you can't really tell how thick the legs are so i got these they're really soft material um and i can fold this front piece over like underneath the bump and i wear a lot of like neutrals so i think this is really cute i mean my little ski sweater and joggers i mean i never thought i would be wearing joggers and then you know pregnancy kind of happens Oh my goodness, I got this <laughs> really warm sweater again. Nice color season, very complimentary. This is probably the softest material I have touched in eons. What is it made of? Does it say, does it say, made in China? Hmm. Okay, I don't know the fabric. This is the softest oh it's huge it's baggy it's not like a, a let's show off my body kind of sweater but i've really been gravitating towards loose sweaters and i think that's another thing when you're building your wardrobe be kind of honest with yourself you know i could have gone out today and got a ton of like tight outfits because it looks the best on the bump but the thing is i wouldn't be wearing those i have not been reaching for tight outfits i've been reaching for my loose sweaters my wide leg pants pretty much as a uniform especially since it's gotten colder outside before that i was wearing a lot of smock dresses with loose pants like i did in my last vlog so i was honest with myself today and even though i've never really bought loose sweaters in the past i think i've even railed against loose sweaters <laughs> at some point on my channel or on my blog but i'm in that season of life i want my loose sweaters so this was awesome i did get this sweater dress that i was not sure about it's so soft breathable it's like a blankie and you know what when you're pregnant when you're postpartum you want to wear a blankie <laughs> i used to be all about looks comfort did not matter at all now i'm more in the middle where i like to combine comfort and looks together and you know you don't have to look sloppy you don't have to look unkempt you don't have to wear sad colors just because <laughs> you are looking for comfort that's something i definitely want you guys to remember as you shop then did get these pants these remind me of like a lululemon kind of pant you probably couldn't tell from the video, but these are so flattering. Again, because I have the thick legs, having some extra fabric kind of disguises the legs. And you guys know I love my walks. We might even take one today. And so I kind of needed more like just pants I could wear. And another part of being honest with yourself with your wardrobe is remembering like, okay, not just what do I gravitate in my wardrobe to, but also what do i do on a day-to-day -day basis you know even though i would love to only wear dresses 24 7 i do things that require like a pant you know <laughs> we live in the midwest i go to people's farms and, and we go hiking and we go on a lot of walks and it's good to have versatile clothing so these are these are really exciting i'm i'm really happy with these i've kind of always wanted a pant like this and I just kind of stumbled upon it so happy with that then the last piece i got this was a bit of a splurge i got this blue sweater it's a zip up you guys saw it in the video it's a really beautiful wool sweater that was the last piece i got so happy with it i hear my baby yeah. oh he just woke up from a nap he's all emotional okay that is the haul that's what i got i also got some socks some stroop waffle if you know what that is let me know in the comments below and hand soap so tj maxx for the win oh baby
glad we had these videos. Thank you. that I wanted the cold. I was ready for the cold and we got it. I'm so happy, just wearing a sweater. Not sweaty, no humidity, it's the best. exercise. I love end of the day walks. Love my town. <sighs> Should probably stop talking while walking because I'm preggy. I don't even look that pregnant in this sweater. I'm so happy with these clothes. Ugh. Wearing pants that fit does wonders for the confidence. <laughs> the vlog without showing you guys the nursery progress. So we obviously have a huge mess in here, but Bodhi's nursery looked like this when I was 30 weeks pregnant too, so I'm not worried. <laughs> there's like tools on the ground, there's clothes everywhere, but the chair is coming to the corner. It's painted. We just have to install some shelves, but I'm really excited because he could be here. I gave birth at 38 weeks and a few days last time. So it could be eight weeks. This new baby could be here in eight weeks. Like, it's crazy. You can see that it's like very similar to Bodhi's nursery. Part of that is because I was lazy. Part of that is because I had no other ideas. But part of it is because I wanted them to like flow and be similar. So he's different art. He'll have a little bit of different like furniture and stuff. But yeah, I'm so happy. totally clean. 
I cleaned so much and the video cut out halfway through. I feel kind of silly for not checking on it, but the bathroom was a disaster. The master bedroom was a disaster. I had to remake the bed. There was clothes all over it. I hung up the stuff I got today from TJ Maxx. Living room was clean. All that's left to do is put away the toys in the playroom downstairs. And then I'm going to do a foot bath and I'm gonna do my toenails. Enjoy some chili. My husband, he's at jujitsu right now. So when he gets back, he'll probably have some chili as well. Also, this is the makeup from this morning. I've done no touch-ups. I probably should have because I'm on camera, <laughs> but um, I think it holds up really well. This is like the foundation, mascara, eyeliner. I'm sure a lot of you can't even tell a difference, but to me, it's a huge difference. Just there's so much more movement and layers. And next time I go in, I'm definitely gonna ask for even more layers, I think. But it just looks so much younger and I feel fresh. I'm wearing pants that fit. I just feel really great. So treat yourself to a pamper day, ladies, if you can, especially new mothers. <laughs> if you haven't done it since giving birth, highly recommend. So if you're interested in more of this kind of content, I have so many videos about tips for pampering yourself, looking polished, looking feminine, looking glamorous, all of that. And I, some of my older vlogs go through kind of stuff like this as well. So thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please click the like button. It does help grow our community and leave a comment. Let me know um, some of your pampering tips, especially the at home pampering advice. I'd love to hear it. Um, but in general, I hope that you guys have a wonderfully blessed and glamorous week my beautiful sisters.